Hello, everybody. We're a little crooked, aren't we? There we go. How's everybody go doing? Hope you're doing well. We're going to go further into some subtraction tonight, okay? So our title of our journal entry is Regroup Hundreds. Regroup Hundreds, okay? So when we regroup, remember um, that we are taking one place value amount. So whether it's 100 or 10, could be 1,000 or 10,000 or 100,000. This works even when you get into really, really, really big numbers, okay? But what we're doing is we're taking one of something and we're making it into 10 of something else. So what we've talked about so far is taking a 10 and changing it into 10 ones, right? So let's just draw that really quick. So let's write regroup on the line. Regrouping 10, oh, I'm sorry, let's write regrouping one 10 into 10 ones, okay? So let's show that, let's show that. So what that looks like is I have a 10 and I'm changing it into 10 ones. So let's draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? So when we group, regroup a 10 into 10 ones, it's because we don't have enough ones to subtract, right? Okay, let's talk about what happens when I get to the tens place and I don't have enough, if I have more on the floor, okay? Let's look at what that looks like. Making sure I didn't put the eraser on. So let's write regrouping. One, what am I gonna have to regroup? I'm gonna have to go to the next place, which is the hundreds place. So one, 100 into what? If I don't have enough tens, I need to change it into tens. How many tens is in, are in 100? 10 tens are in 100, so I can say into 10 tens, okay? Regrouping 100 into 10 tens. If you need to pause and write those, go for it. So what that looks like is I have 100. This is how I show a hundreds block. I don't need to draw all the grid and stuff inside. That's not necessary at all, okay? So, but I do need to draw that square. Also, this is how we draw a 10. This is how we draw ones. We don't have to draw like the 10 and then go one, two, three, four, five. We don't need to do all that, okay? We just do one stick, dots for ones, box for 100, okay? And what is that going to become? What do we just say? 10, 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. That's what that looks like. So this is equal to this. This is equal to this. It's just regrouping. Remember, that means to group again in a different way, okay? Just grouping the, the number in a different way, okay? Let's look at an example. If I'm subtracting 519 minus 374, okay? 519 minus 374. Let's check this out. Let's look at the ones. We always start with the ones place. What's nine minus four? I have more on the top. No need to stop. What's nine minus four? Five. What's one minus seven? Uh-oh. I don't have enough, right? I have more on the floor. I have to go next door. What is next door? What place is that? The hundreds place. So I'm gonna have to take a hundred away. Works the same way as when we regroup 10. So how many hundreds are left? Four hundreds are left. And then I'm gonna give 10 tens to the tens place. There's already one 10 there. So how many tens is that? 11. So do you see how it works the same way as if we went from, as if this wasn't here and we went from here to here, we're doing the same thing. We're taking one away from this place, adding 10 to this place, okay? Now, can I do 11 minus seven? Absolutely, what is it? Four. Okay, what's four minus three? I have more on the top, no need to stop. The answer is one. So it's 145, okay? Let's look at another one. Let's do, so my goodness, Ms. Hargrove, big seven. Let's do 720 minus 568, okay? Sometimes it's hard for me to make up numbers because I don't want to use the same number over and over again. So sorry if I'm being a little delayed on that. All right, so let's look at the ones place first. Can I subtract zero minus eight? 
nope, I've got more on the floor. I got to go next door. So this situation is when I'm going to take one of these guys and change it into 10 ones and add it to the ones place. So what is, uh, so I'm going to take one from the tens. How many tens are left? Just one. There were two. I'm taking one away. And I'm changing that one ten that I took into, into what? Ten ones. And there were zero ones here, so it's just ten ones. Some of you guys, I remember that I'm remembering this from whenever we did two-digit subtraction. A lot of you guys try to put 11 right here. If there's not, a t if there's not already a one there, it's just going to be ten ones. If this is a zero, Adding 10 ones to 0, 0 plus 10 is 10. So what's 10 minus 8? 2. I can do it now. Let's move on to the tens place. 1 minus 6. Uh-oh. I can't do that. I have more on the floor. I gotta go next door. So I gotta take, I have to take a what? What do I have to take away? What place is this? I have to take a hundred. So how many hundreds are left? Six. And then I'm going to add it to the tens that are already there. Remember, I don't have two tens anymore. I only have one ten. So what's ten tens plus one ten? Eleven tens. So I'm going to cross that off and put eleven up here. This is what's different, okay? This is, I don't want you to be confused by this, okay? But this is, we haven't ever done this before where we've crossed that out and put something above that, okay? If I had to regroup tens to ones and regroup hundreds to tens, that's when I'm going to have to cross this out and add my 10, and it's going to be above there like that. So when you write your problems, just make sure you have room to write above to show your regrouping, okay? Now, 11 minus 6, I have more on the top. No need to stop. What's 11 minus 6? 5. What is 6 minus 5? More on the top. No need to stop. 1. 152. So just a little refresher of what we just did. We started in the ones place always. And we're still looking, do I have more on the top or more on the floor? Okay. If I don't have a bigger number on top, I'm going to have to regroup because I don't have enough to subtract. Okay. That's the whole point of regrouping is that we allow ourselves, like we, we help ourselves get more so that we can subtract and we do have more on the top. Okay. Um, please head over to Seesaw and do your best on those. Okay, guys. See you tomorrow.